Chris Bubich and what he brings in. He is one of the young guns this year that the Royals are really framing the next decade. He faces DJ LeMayhew batting 313. LeMayhew gives this one a ride into right field. Edward Olivares is back at the track. Look to play it on a hop off the wall. LeMayhew digs in for second with a slide. Nobody is near him. And the Yankees are off. Aaron Judge, we mentioned a night off from the field. Judge, a drive now into center field, charging on a diving play for Michael A. Taylor. And that's why Michael A. Taylor won a gold glove in his first season with the Royals last year. We, we had a Cardinals game a couple of weeks ago, and now the Royals game. We're seeing a couple teams that are so strong on defense. Michael Taylor early in the game, understanding his route. He knows that he has a chance right off the bat as long as he stays aggressive, stays with it, and doesn't kick back on it at all. He can make that play. So in stands Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo, another drive into center field, sends Taylor back at the track, backing up to the wall. He continues, and it's gone. We mentioned the bats were hot. Taylor went up against some fans against the wall. But Anthony Rizzo, again, a three-run home run game already this week. He finds his first long ball here in the first inning. And it's a 2-0 Yankees lead. Right here, you, you see that ball? He gets it good, maybe slightly off the end, just enough. Giancarlo Stanton, as he swats a ball out to left, and you can forget about it. Stantonian blast for Giancarlo, and it is quickly a three-run ball game here for the Yanks. Now this is going to get uncomfortable really quick around here. We were talking about it before the game. When these guys are hot, they're the most most dangerous offense in baseball. Yeah, they have their cold streaks from time to time. But talking to Booney before the game, they're a little more balanced. A few more left-handed bats in there. Hopefully they can slow down those rough patches quite a bit. But when these guys are on fire, he, you can't miss right there on Stanton. Miss right there, he doesn't even have to get it good. If he puts the barrel on the ball at the right launch angle, it's out of there every single time. Whit Merrifield, who's trying to get into a little groove. He might have good launch angle on this. Out to left center field on the horse. A diving play for Tim LaCastro. He cannot make it. Motoring in to second. He'll settle for a double. Salvi hitting 200 with 13 hits. Salvador Perez out to left field. LaCastro is back. Out of sprint. It's a fair ball. Whit Merrifield is going to walk home. Salvador Perez had been 6 for 13 off of lefties coming in for today, and you can see exactly why. Look here, this is a double that's from the shift that was in place with the outfielders. LeCastro was all the way shifted into left center. Here comes Bobby Witt Jr. They really like him at third base. He's a young player, and you want your young players as comfortable as possible. Bobby Witt Jr. base hit into left. Royals have been loving it there. And can you guess? It's another Kansas City double. And you've got to love having Bobby Witt Jr. out at second. He has stolen four bases this year in five attempts on the young season. speed does he have the ability to beat the Yankees out he gets pushed off the bag but Bobby Witt Jr. almost beat that out the argument is going to be was he sliding over the base either way or was he pushed off Matheny has been ejected from the ball game Cortez with the weirdest delivery we've seen so far Olivares gets a read on it though and a base hit Michael A. Taylor trying to move Olivares out Michael A. Taylor straightens this one out, down for a base hit, already charging around third comes Olivares. An RBI single brings the Royals within a run. It seems like they came into the game with the plan. They're assuming that Nestor is going to try to stay out over the plate. So it even looks like from the naked eye that they may even be cheating a little bit to get to that outside pitch. The ninth pitch and Kyle Higashioka wins the battle. LeMayhew, top of the Yankees with that batting average. Ripped off the glove of Lopez and flying in comes Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Yankees extend the lead in their first run since the beginning of this ballgame. Aaron Judge, a rare 0 for 3 night. Deep drive out to right. Olivares back at the track. A look up. Off the top, Aaron Judge busts this 
one open with a three-run blast. And it is very quickly a different ball game. All New York here in the seventh. Joey Gallo will pinch run for Stanley. Here's Glaber. Joey Gallo pinch running, drive into left field, back at the bullpen, and it's gone. Glaber Torres gets in on the action. His second long ball of the season. Yankees opening it up by a touchdown. Bases loaded, nobody out. When Kyle Higashioka was the troublemaker in the seventh. Ripped ground ball, pass third again. Bobby Wood Jr. lays out. Two runs are home. Are they gonna clear the bases? Yes, three run double. Kyle Higashioka causing some damage here late in the game. 